Hello and welcome to my English presentation. Today we're going to be baking a stritzel and absolutely nothing else because this already took four and a half hours to record. First, let's get the ingredients. Flour, salt, the uh, uh, let's see here. Barley malt flour. Sugar, vanilla sugar, some milk, and rum. And pre-prepared at room temperature, butter and yeast. Yellow tape around his body, it's a fucking homicide. All right, next step. We're gonna go get our scale. Then, our bowl. All right, let's get started. <laughs> 510 grams of flour. Then, seven grams of salt, roughly this much. Next. Sixty grams of sugar, roughly this much. Five grams of this. Eight gram vanilla sugar. Ten gram of rum. Next step, we're gonna be adding the pre-prepared butter and yeast. Just be sure to crumple it in there so it gets mixed up nicely. Next step, we're gonna get a pan. Add some milk. Two hundred seventy grams. And we're going to heat that up to about thirty six degrees. While that's heating up, it's time for a taste test. Good? <laughs> Good. All right. We'll be back when the milk's done. All right. Now that the milk's hot enough, we're just gonna pour it on there. And it's time. To net the dough at a low level for about three minutes. And when that's done, we're going to give it another seven minutes at a higher level. We're going to get it out of there. Right. Get all that dough off. With that done, we're going to give it 30 minutes to rest. Every time you cross my mind, it hit different. It seemed like since you left, I feel like something is missing. When that's done, we're gonna take the dough, take our scale, and we're gonna divide it into three pieces. Right, when we got it divided into three equally weighed pieces, we're gonna round it. And put it on the sheet pan. Beautiful. 
absolutely lovely. And that's gonna rest for 10 minutes. So the guy sees a blessing and a curse should have learned from you. Before our next step, we're gonna get some bacon paper and prepare a bacon tray. All right, then we're gonna take our three dough pieces. And form them into dough worms. Give them a slap so there's no air. And at some point in the past, I completely forgot how this works, so I just winged it. And ever since then, I have no clue how I do it. But hey, as long as it works, let's put that in there. Pop that bubble. Beautiful. And give it another 30 minutes. We're gonna get a bowl and an egg. Crack it open. Whisk it. Beautiful, love it. Then we're gonna get a brush. And that's gonna sit here and wait for when the dough's done resting. Loving you is like a fairy tale. I just can't pick up the phone again. When our boy's done resting and the oven's about to have the right temperature, gonna get the egg. Oh, wait, sorry. Cut off the excess paper first. Get some of that egg and paint. Right, take a tissue. Love it. And then we're gonna go put it in the oven. Ah, fuck. Don't forget the fork. Don't ask me. And that's gonna take 15 minutes. You was talking shit in the beginning. Back when I was feeling more forgiven. So now the 15 minutes done. Take your oven mittens, or don't, however you wanna do that. I prefer not getting burned. Come on. Fork. And. Oh, Jesus. Spin our boy around. Back in he goes. Don't forget the fork. I didn't make the rules. 13 minutes. Ice water turn Atlantic. Night calling in a phantom. Told them, hold it, don't you panic. Took an yeah. island, fled the mansion. Drop the roof, more expansion. Right, now it's done. 
gonna turn that off. And get it out of there. And leave it in the tray unless you want it to fall apart for the next five minutes. So let's see what this actually tastes like. Mmm! 